It's the first boundary for Ryder and for New Zealand. Inside edge, past Alistair Cook, or is it James Anderson? James Anderson, I think, at short, fine leg. It brings McCollum four. It's a rather streaky boundary. Uh, that has gone a long way. Anderson short again, but wide this time, offering McCollum the width. And he really got hold of it. Wide again from Anderson and Ryder. Without any footwork, really. There's that wonderful hand-eye coordination, leaning across, using the pace of the ball. Launched, long, high, straight down the ground by Jesse Ryder. I don't mind telling you, that's a very big hit. That is a massive blow because it's carried all the way up into the stand here, the centennial stand. Beautifully played. It's not a bad ball. Not much Anderson can do about that. Perfectly good ball on the length, on off stump. And Ryder just standing there, pumping the ball through the offside. It brings up the New Zealand 50. Smashed down the ground again. And it's gone all the way, almost full into the boundary boards. It's superb from Jesse Ryder. James Anderson under the pump, 56 for none, seven gone. Oh, good stroke. Side bottom, losing it here. Full toss now. Up she goes. Anderson's under it. Oh, good catch. That is a stunner. He had to make 25 metres. He had other England players coming at him, but he kept his head and he's taken a beauty. Stuart Broad, the first person to run up to Anderson. They caught well off Stuart Broad in the last match. A slower ball, and Ryder through the shot. Good thinking from Broad, a wider, slower ball. Anderson watches it carefully. He's a fantastic fielder for an opening bowler, James Anderson. A crucial catch. The danger man's gone. Ryder, 39, New Zealand, 70 for one. Here's Anderson. And there's Howe. And how about that? Driven beautifully through the offside. McCullum again. 37 from 37. Four fours, one six. Pulled away through mid wicket. This will be another boundary. Pulled away. Jamie Howe leg side boundary. 50 partnership between Howe and McCullum. 53 from 48 balls. Yes. Single. Good work from McCullum. He's moved on to 50 from 49 deliveries. That's a fine innings from Brendan McCullum. 11th one day, 56 fours and a six. That's on its way. Bouncing into the stands there. And for the first time, Paul Collingwood has just uh, slipped up with his line. Catch! And it's repeated. Flatter, stronger, but still six. So we've seen the 150 come up, and now 50 comes up for Jamie Howe. And uh, those two sixes have accelerated his strike rate to 110, so it's 51 not out, just 46 balls. Double ask, it's a double ask, and the batsman is on his way. Now, the keeper has asked both umpires for a decision. I said, Ralph at uh, square leg has said, hang on, I want to have a look for, I want the uh, third umpire to look. It's almost as though McCullum has acknowledged a nick. I think he knows he's dragged out. I think he knows that his foot's gone out, he's out, he's out, he's trying to get back. Nothing down on the ground, nothing down on the ground. For me, that's out. Well, the, the umpire did say to him, just hang on, let me make this decision, because uh, Bassman was well on his way, but Bassman is normally the man who knows. Um, Brendan McCallum knew there, so it's a fine piece of work from Phil Mustard to stump him.
McCullum's gone for 58, it's 161 for two. Well, that's broken the shackles a bit. Sidebottom has been very good today, both in his opening spell and in this one. And I guess something had to give. It was a fine shot. Oh, that's a pickup. Really is a good pickup. That stands taking a peppering today. Six more. Well, that's crashed away. Full toss, wide of off stump. Three boundaries in the over, and it's just easy. 15 from it, 196 for two from 30. Touch it! Wide of side bottom. Just wide of the outstretched arm, and four. Cry of catch, and it's wide of the man at deep square leg. And into the stand again for four. Luke Ride out there. 50 partnership is up. Catch! This is a perfect example of how good the bats are these days, because that is nothing more than a push down the ground. Oh, you could see him targeting leg side there, and it really hasn't been a bowler's day. Inside edge, fine legs wide, four more. Brings up the 250 for New Zealand. Now the batsman on his way to 50, 48 or 46. Yeah! Edged and gone. Anderson has come back, and he's come back with the wicket of Ross Taylor. A little bit of luck, regulation outside it. Mustard makes no mistake. England needed a breakthrough and they need it sooner than later. They've got it now. Can they win this game from here? Ross Taylor's gone for 48 from 47 balls, 253 for three. 98 is top score. He's played as well as he ever will, to be honest. Absolutely beautifully timed. It's on the up. Needs two more, and that could be it. He'll be pushing, and he'll be pushing broad hard. He comes back, and he gets in. The arms up in the air. Well played, Jamie Howe. A brilliant hundred. His first in ODI cricket, and the crowd really appreciate a fantastic innings from New Zealand's number three. He made his mind up very early. He wasn't going to have anything to do with the nervous 99s. Picked his fielder, one of the bowlers, and takes off. Now he does go. I want to. He gets home comfortably. He starts celebrating before the ball comes in. Well played, Jamie Howe. Catch! That's pulled away. And it's been hit a long, long way. That's the bigger boundary. That's into the breeze, but it's six for Howe. His third six. Hit away, Collingwood just looks because he knows that's gone past it at a pace for four. That's flicked away, very delicate. Will it rush away for four? Yes, it does. That's sweet from Styrus, really. Collingwood had his man square up and he's just used the pace and got another boundary. Ryan Sidebottom greeted with a superb stroke through mid-wicket. It wasn't a particularly bad delivery. Gone! The wicket that England needed. Ryan Sidebottom, a change of fortune for him at last. And Scott Styris goes, picking out long on. Is there a twist? New Zealand still need 40 from 38 deliveries. It's Sidebottom. Desperate times for England. Jimmy Anderson, sure hands couple of metres from the boundary. England have got a wicket. It's Styris, 20, 301 for four, needing 40. Catch! Catch it is the cry. Run out on. It's Fulton home. Billy Bowden 
looks for the third umpire. I think it's tight. England fancy their chances here. He nods his head, Billy Bowden. He's sent for the third umpire. Fulton is still out there. Peterson shies at the stumps, hits the stump. He's a goner. He's a goner. Another twist to this game. England don't know it yet. England are in a huddle. Wicket is broken. Fulton is short of his ground. Another wicket. Wait for this. Crowd is still. Gone. Thirty-seven from thirty-two. It's Peter Fulton. His ordeal again. Hasn't scored. Jacob Oram is almost in the middle. Beats the man at points and races away for four. Jacob Oram. He did nothing more than touch that ball. Ian Bell diving in vain at backward point. It's a much-needed boundary for New Zealand. and the safe pair of hands and England are back in this game don't take your eyes off this it's a doddle I said 26 from 26 New Zealand now six down big man Jacob Oram big player has gone round the wicket Stuart Broad full of length hard drive Peterson does the rest an extra cover England are still in this six down New Zealand great scenes here at Napier Orem 6, 3.15 for 6, 26 from 25. It is full and straight, it's slightly overpitched. Vittori wants a second, he's turned blind, he's coming back, he'll have to hurry. He's home, I think. Think he's home, Asad Ralph says, he'll have a look. He's needed a dive, he's not the quickest between the wickets, Daniel Vittori. James Anderson, rocket throw. Bounces once, in. Say in, Bumble, but just have a look whether this bat bounces in the air. I think the bat's in the air as the bales come off. An unbelievable bit of bad fortune for the New Zealand captain. As the bales come off, I think his bat's in the air. I don't think, if the umpire says not out here, I don't think he's looked closely enough at the decision. Not out is the call. Roars for the crowd. Daniel Vittori is given not out, but I fancy the third umpire should have looked a bit more carefully at this decision. And he's clubbed this for four. Could that be a match-turning moment? Vittori's given in. He clubs the next ball for four. I'm not saying it was out. I'm just saying the third umpire needed to look more carefully at it. Short and Vittori's across his stumps. There'll only be one, but he wants two. Surely, no! The throw comes in. It was a good throw from side bottom on the turn. Mustard can't gather cleanly. It's two more to New Zealand. Great cricket. Gambled. Side bottom the fielder. Does very, very well there and there. Coming back for two, it's just wide of Phil Mustard. Who's going to bowl this last over? It's a lottery. Anderson chats to Collingwood. It looks as if it's Luke Wright. Sure is. It's full and straight and good enough. Just a single down to long on. Six from five. Luke Wright then, Daniel Vittori on strike. New Zealand needs six from five. Get it, Brody! Easy. Stuart Broad, just the single. Five from four. Once more than a single, he clubs it away. Vittori comes back, turns blind. It's a good throw from Anderson, but Vittori's home. Brilliant work from Anderson in the deep. Fabulous cricket from New Zealand, from Vittori. This is special from Anderson. Flattens it. Absolute rocket throw.
straight to him. He dives in. He's there. And this time he was in. Yes! He's gone straight to mid-wicket. Peterson shies. He's missed. And how is home? Two from two, New Zealand require. There just wasn't enough time for Luke Wright to get to the stumps there. Ball struck straight to Kevin Peterson. Wright is trying to get back. Take aim, fire. Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere, New Zealand. Misses by a whisker. Two from two required. The full toss. Straight to mid-off. There's confusion yeah. in the direct hit. England are in this game. Great scenes. Anderson again. Fabulous fielder. His figures. Well, he's been punished today. But he stood up there. New Zealand still need two from two. Two from one, correction. Two from one. Where's the batsman? He is nowhere. What a game of cricket this has been. Anderson, he's fielded brilliantly. He really has for an opener. Opening bowler who's been punished. Great innings. How? 139. Four men inside the circle on the leg side, four men inside the circle on the offside. New Zealand need two, England need a dot ball. A single is a tie. New Zealand scatter through, Kyle Mills has made it. The game is tied. For the second time at Napier, England and New Zealand have tied a one-day international. They tied the game here ten years ago when Darren Goff couldn't score the winning runs on.